Hey guys, Sarah Helena here, and today I'm back with part two of Once Upon a Time memes, so stay tuned. Grandparenting level charming. I really love David's bond with Henry. Um, I think, like, it's, it's so beautiful. Um... I really wish we got to see more of Rumpel and Henry. Like, I know Rumpel wasn't my favorite character and everything like that, but, um, I feel like, you know, he, Henry got to spend all his time with, um, Charming and, you know, I feel like we didn't get enough of Henry and Rumpel and I really wish we got more. Especially in season seven, I feel like that could have been an interesting dynamic to explore because, like, it was literally just, like, Regina and Rumpel because I mean Hook wasn't even Hook. Um, I feel like those are two dynamics that could have been explored a lot in season seven even though they were cursed for season seven but I mean like we did get you know a bit of Rumpel and Henry in season seven so I guess there's that. This is a really small one so I have to zoom in to see it properly. Okay what if once upon a time is just Snow White's dream after she bit the apple? That would have been something. <laughs> I, I feel like I wouldn't have liked it as much. I feel like the way Once Upon a Time went um, was the right way. I think if they had just made it all a dream or whatever, or like a coma dream, I would have been really mad. <laughs> but I really like the way they went with Once Upon a Time. I don't need it to be a dream. Although, when you're talking about Storybrooke, Rum Bell magic portals, pixie dust, and mermaids, and they just don't understand. I feel like I had this problem a lot, like, because my brother, like, never watched Once Upon a Time, and, like, half the time, like, I would just, like, jump into conversation about Once Upon a Time, and he'd look at me like, you know I have no idea what you're talking about, right? Like, and it's like, but it's so good! And he's like, I don't care. Um, but, yeah, I would often have the same face as Regina, like, Come on. It's so good. Sick of mainstream holiday lights? Try Cora's all-natural all natural, eco-friendly glowing hearts. Control your enemies and decorate your home all at once. That would be creepy yet kind of fun. Um... I mean, like, they really, like, shine through the box, and it's, like, they're not subtle at all, but, um, I guess since, like, nobody can really get down there anyways, it doesn't matter, but, um, it's, it's weird, <laughs> but it is kind of funny to think about, like, okay, who brought magic back? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, this, this is, this is something that only makes sense if you've watched Once Upon a Time. Like, um, <laughs> Red being a werewolf. Um, I really, like, I feel like we didn't get enough Red. I wanted more Red. I really did. Red was a wasted character. Honestly, like, there was so much potential and we got, like, nothing. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order one large pepperoni pizza, please. <laughs> Who needs phones when you have hearts? <laughs> oh, man, I love this. Because I could, I, could, I could totally see this being a thing. Like, Regina just, like, taking, like, people's hearts and, like, using it to, like, control them. And it's like... <laughs> I'd like a pizza, please. Because I'd probably do that. If I, ha if I had, like, a, like, you know, heart from, like, Domino's or whatever, I'd be like, I'd like to order a pizza, please. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's see this one. Why would I possibly want to be a pirate? Well, for starters, you get to wear a guy liner. <laughs> The guy lighter! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Why would I want to be a pirate? Well, you get to wear a, well, you get to wear a guy liner. So, that's a win. <laughs> yeah. Hook in his guy liner. Phew, 
it's really hot in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I leave? <laughs> that is 100% what Regina would do. Like, 100%. 100%. That's exactly what she would do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Should I leave then? Like... <laughs> Okay. All these movies suck. There's nothing good on TV. I'm off to kill Snow. Finally, someone who has some sense. Regina, I'm right here. <laughs> oh. Regina. <laughs> I'm off to kill Snow. Okay, finally, we got something good happening here. <laughs> oh. Like, the the weird thing is with these memes is I can totally see these being scenes in the show. And this, like, just 100% I see playing out. Even though by this point in the show, they're, um, they're, like, friends and family at this point. Um, but <laughs> I, could, I could definitely see it. I will always find you. You can't use that line. My dad already claimed it. <laughs> Uh, like I said in the previous video, it's only good when Charming says it. When other people say it, it's creepy. Although, I mean, with Hook and Emma, it does work too. So, there's that. <laughs> I have to zoom in because they're so tiny. Okay. I seek a beautiful girl. I just have a feeling this is how Hook found Emma in New York. <laughs> I feel the exact same way. <laughs> I love Enchanted because it's like, it's so random. Like, you got like these fairy tale characters popping into like, you know, modern day world and they're just like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is probably exactly how Hook found Emma in New York. <laughs> and I'll be doing whatever Snow does in summer. Stalker. <laughs> oh. I mean, Olaf's cute until Snow goes and is like, uh, creepy. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, that is kind of creepy. Um... I just, I just love this one so much. Thank you, ABC, for pointing out the obvious. Excellent commentary. <laughs> okay. Let's see what ABC wrote here. David is under a sleeping curse. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. ABC's given excellent commentary. They're... It's described video, I guess. David is under a sleeping curse. And the, the timing is what's, like, absolutely hysterical about that. It's, it's, like, like, literally, if you just, like, turned on ABC and everything, and then you're in the middle of Once Upon a Time and whatever, and you see David lying there, Once Upon a Time's telling you what's happening. He's under a sleeping curse. You don't have to get caught up now. <laughs> ABC's doing a good thing here. <laughs> Oncers. Captain Hook is so sexy. Normal people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Snow White's badass. <laughs> Normal people are just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> OMG, the evil queen is stunning. <laughs> oh. And Normal Normal people just all around just like, WTF are you talking about? <laughs> None of that is true. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, normal people, like, <laughs> they just, they don't understand. That's why you have to preface by stating on Once Upon a Time. Because normal people are going to look at you like, you crazy. Like, <laughs> Captain Hook is so sexy, huh? Okay, if that's what you're into. Um, I love Snow White's badassery. What, with the animals? Because <laughs> that's all she does. And then, OMG, the evil queen is stunning. And then, like, I love how it's, like, the evil queen, like, when she's transformed into the old hag. Like, <laughs> not, like, when she's the queen. 
because it's like, okay. <laughs> oh man. This, this one gets me. I love this one. Because <laughs> it's like normal people. Oh, I've, I've seen normal people. <laughs> I had a vision. I'm going to die. It does not do well to dwell on dreams and forget to live. <laughs> oh, man. Like, honestly, like, season six... <laughs> With Emma, I, I'm gonna die. Like, I had a vision, I'm gonna die. And it's like, uh, okay. And then Dumbledore is just like, it does not do, it does not do to dwell, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. I always misquote that because it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right in Canadian English. <laughs> but, yeah. Anna, they don't sing in this land. Oh god, no, we did die. We're in hell. <laughs> Not even about reindeer being better than people. Oh. I mean. It's kind of true. Like. In Frozen, Anna's like always like singing. And she's always like so happy and everything like that. And it's like. It's like no, no. They don't sing in this land. And it's like. Well, we did in that one episode. <laughs> it's like we did in that one episode of season six. Um. Where we sang and it didn't make much sense, but we sang anyways. <laughs> oh, but I think like the Kristoff part, like not even about reindeer being better than people, like just his face is like pure like shock of just like what? <laughs> I should get my homework done, but a few episodes of Once Upon a Time wouldn't hurt. That's kind of how I viewed everything when I was in school. Just like, but like. TV wouldn't hurt. <laughs> but luckily, like, I got into Once Upon a Time, like, once I was, like, out of school and everything like that. So I could watch as many episodes as I wanted. <laughs> it's the station, which is weird because I'm the only guy who works there. Seriously, the sheriff's department is, like, ridiculously understaffed. Oh. <laughs> uh... That is so true. Like, the sheriff's station. Like, I get it. Like, they only have, like, 20 people in the town. But, like, it's it's Emma and David. Like, and, like, not even entirely. Like, it's weird. It really is. Like, by, like, the later seasons, like, the sheriff's department was, like, literally non-existent. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's so weird. Swears vengeance on small child, waits until she grows up to do something. That was the interesting thing, is it was like, we, the timing was always weird. Like, cause like, Snow was like 10, when Regina's like, I'm gonna make her pay. And then Snow like, gets married, has a child, and Regina's like, and now's the time to strike. Um, it's just, it's weird. Like, it's really, truly weird. Like, okay, even if you wanted to argue, like, okay, she wanted to make Snow pay, but then she, like, waited till Snow found, you know, her true love, like she had with Daniel, and then it was like, okay, then I'm gonna take it all away from her. Um, I mean, Snow was pregnant. Snow did have a baby. And then we decided to cast the curse, and it's like, what? Like... It is weird. There's many things about Once Upon a Time that don't make sense. This is one of them. Okay. When somebody talks about something embarrassing you did when you were younger. I was 10! <laughs> oh, I know. I I feel like this happens a lot. Like, especially when, like, family gets together and everything like that. It's like, oh, yeah, do you remember when you were, like, four and you did this? And it's like... Well, one, no, I don't. But two, I was four. Like, <laughs> calm down. Like, I was a kid. I, I didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it still was like, I was ten. <laughs> At the start of an episode, me, my friend. <laughs> I am 100% end of mode whenever I watch Once Upon a Time. It's like, <gasps> what's next? What's next? 
and like I feel like my mom is my friend like my mom was watching Once Upon a Time with me and like she just never like got as invested in it as I did like she would watch it but like she didn't really particularly like, care and so she was like okay like you're crazy and everything like that and like when I was like crying at the end of like the series and everything and she's like it's a show <laughs> and I'm like no it's not <laughs> it's Once Upon a Time and it's beautiful I just can't get over Edna Mode's face. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm Edna Mode, 100%. When you meet another once you and I, we understand each other. 100%. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Once Upon a Time is one of those shows that, like, nobody, like, you can't explain it to somebody who hasn't seen it. Like, it is the most confusing, mind-baffling show ever. And the only way to somewhat understand it is to watch it. Um, and so, like, when you find another one, sir, it's like, I don't have to sit there and explain it to you. You just know, and we can talk about how Pan is evil and everything like that. Yeah. Like, we understand each other. Me and one, we understand each other. <laughs> We don't always agree, but we understand each other. <laughs> Students, I would like to introduce you to your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Hello, dearies. Okay, I want this crossover right now. <laughs> I want this crossover. I, I want to write this crossover. I don't think I actually will, but I want to. Where, like, Rumple is, like, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Like, that would be so amazing. Like, <laughs> that would 100% be amazing. I want to see that now. I really do. I want to see that. Oh, that would be so epic. <laughs> the awkward moment. Again, I have to zoom in because it's so tiny. Okay. The awkward moment when you have to arrest your mother on suspicion of murdering your stepmother... Only for your estranged son to convince you that she might be being framed by your step-grandmother, his adoptive mother, who also murdered your grandfather, and then killed your boyfriend, who was also her boyfriend, after she paid him to try to murder your mother. So remember when I said Once Upon a Time was one of those shows that, like, you really can't explain? Unless, like, like the best way to understand Once Upon a Time is to see it. That is trying to explain Once Upon a Time. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> did anybody who did not watch Once Upon a Time, although I can't imagine you'd be watching this video if you didn't watch Once Upon a Time, but did anybody understand that? Because <laughs> I watched Once Upon a Time and I'm having a hard time understanding that, but... Yeah, I'm not going through it again. <laughs> Oh, so you don't like Once Upon a Time? Here, have an apple. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But Once Upon a Time is a great show, and you should check it out. It's on Disney+, Plus, at least in Canada. But probably in the States and everything, too. But, yeah, definitely recommend watching Once Upon a Time. It's, it's a fun show. It really is. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but I'm your son, and, they're, and you're their baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the moment when, like, there's a moment where Snow and Emma are having a conversation at Granny's. And, um, Emma's like, I'm not your mother, right? And Snow's like, no, but according to Henry, I'm yours. And it's like, you really see that they're, like, the same age. And it's, like, just really weird and crazy to, like, think about. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Like, Once Upon a Time is a weird show, but it's a fun show. <laughs> Don't tell my mom about Daniel. Regina doesn't love the king. We're just keeping a secret until confirmation. Neil's alive. Can you keep a secret? No, she can't! <laughs> oh, I mean, Snow White is, like, the worst secret keeper as a child and as an adult. And as a child... You can let it slide, but as an adult, it's like, girl, get a grip. <laughs> like, 
Stop spilling secrets! <laughs> oh, and everybody keeps trusting her with secrets, and she keeps spilling them, and then they wonder, like, oh, what the heck went wrong? It's like, well, you told Snow! <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's weird. But... <laughs> That is it. We end on that note. Um, uh, let me know which one was your favorite meme. Really curious to know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload my latest videos. Follow me on all the socials. The link is in the description down below. And I will see you all in another video. Bye, guys.